There would be no power to use your fridge or freezer. Telephone lines would be down and phone signal lost. Your mobile phones will be useless as the battery dwindles with no backup charging option, and your water supply would soon stop pumping clean water. As Guyanese, we know all too well the adverse effects of living our day-to-day -day lives without electricity. But where does that electricity come from? Powering electricity to homes, businesses, and public facilities is the end result of a long and arduous process. Electricity generation and distribution does not go to sleep. For the Guyana Power and Light, it starts with the acquisition of fuel from international suppliers. The inventory department of GPL is responsible for managing all inventory items. Um, one of the main inventory items of GPL is fuel. Um, without fuel, we basically cannot generate electricity or the engines will not be able to operate. Um, we have to ensure that fuel is at all locations, at you know, any point in time, that there is the optimum quantity of fuel at GPL. The buying of fuel is not only a technical job, but a costly venture, one that sees GPL doling out millions of US dollars on a monthly basis. Our method of our procuring fuel is one that is called the open tender, right? So we would normally advertise for uh, quantities for the, for the entire year, and we'll advertise it in, a, in an open tender. And um, so that is, that is dear to the public and, and we encourage all, all suppliers, dealers and so on to, to come in and bid. Presently, uh, we have uh, two suppliers. Novum Energy, uh, they come out from uh, Yabucoa, uh, Puerto Rico, and we also have uh, Statsoli, who is a company that, 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 that um, originates or they, they exist in uh, Suriname. Right, there are two suppliers. Uh, currently, we have three lots with Nova Energies having two of those lots and uh, start solely having one lot. We, we have uh, three shipments of fuel at approximately uh, 30,000 uh, barrels per month uh, for each shipment um, at an average cost of uh, maybe about, about three million dollars per shipment which will take our monthly to somewhere around eight to nine million US dollars per month. That means that the Guyana Power and Light spends approximately 1.9 billion in fuel for electricity generation on a monthly basis. Fuel arrives on any day at GPL's Kingston Georgetown Wharf. It could be in the dead of the night or on a rainy Wednesday afternoon. But regardless of what time it is, the tide must also be high. When the ship initially arrived, the inventory department responsibility is to ensure that the personnel is on the wharf at the time of mooring, when the vessel is mooring. This is to um, ensure that we position the vessel or line up the vessel as we speak to internally so that we could now couple the hose safely at the time of discharge or when we, you know, ready to proceed with the discharging of the fuel. Um, if this vessel is not lined up properly at the time when the vessel arrives, there could be delays in the operation because we'll now need to reposition the vessel. And to reposition the vessel, you will need to, um, what, you know, we have to wait on the tide. You'll have to wait until the tide rises again. So it's very important that the vessel is positioned or lined up at the initial mooring stage. Once the fuel arrives in Guyana, GPL must now ensure it conducts its quality checks. An important aspect of our protocol for the receipt of fuel is testing. Testing is done within our laboratory to ensure that the quality of the fuel received is within our contractual technical specification. An important thing to note at this time is that our lab is currently being upgraded to satisfy our current and growing needs as a company as we pursue customer satisfaction. Those checks for the quality of fuel is part of the fuel discharge process, a process that can take several hours, sometimes days, to get the fuel from the ship into the bulk storage tanks. The inventory department is responsible for managing the fuel at all locations. This includes uh, transferring fuel from various locations to other locations to ensure that there is always the optimum level of stock at that location. The inventory department um, monitor daily the consumption at various locations, which now help us to determine the amount of fuel or the quantity of fuel that is required to be transferred to these locations so for continuous generation. These transfers are normally done or mainly done from our Kingston location, which currently is one of our largest storage locations. And these transfers are done by vessel or road tankers. Um, on a normal basis, we transfer you know, fuel to Anna Regina, uh, Cane Field, 
and in, 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 in certain instances, garden weed. At this stage, the Generation Department of GPL is left to pull the fuel into their service tanks for distribution to their respective service stations. We tell you more about the generation aspect in another episode.